Join us with Team Science here. It is Shark Week, and here are some facts about sharks. Shark facts. Sharks don't have scales like bony fish do. Instead, they have tiny dermal denticles, which literally means skin teeth. If you stroke a shark from head to tail, it feels smooth, but if you go in the opposite direction, it kind of feels like sandpaper. In fact, in the old days, people actually used shark skin to polish things just like we use sandpaper today. When the shark swims, tiny vortices are formed behind these denticles, which allow the shark to glide better through the water. The energy efficiency having this surface makes such a huge difference that swimsuit manufacturers a few years back got the idea of working similar structures into competitive swimsuits. The new suits were so effective that they had to be banned in swimming competitions a few years later. There are a lot of really crazy stories around shark reproduction, but for this list I'm just going to bring up what I think is the craziest, and that is the internal cannibalism that occurs in some species, like the sand tiger shark for example. A female sand tiger shark can carry as many as 50 embryos. Then when one of the embryos reaches a certain size, it starts to eat the other embryos, and after that continues to feed on unfertilized eggs. The female has to carry these little beasts for up to a year. So it takes a lot of effort to give birth to only a couple of offsprings. That's right, more than 400 species. And as a matter of fact, more than half of those species are less than one meter or three feet in length. But what is the image that we normally think of when we talk about sharks? Sure, most of them could bite, but so can most other animals as well. So the question is, are they dangerous? Well, let's look at the stats. Between the year 2005 and 2014, that's 10 years, there were a total of 59 fatalities from shark attacks and a total of 701 reported attacks worldwide. That's an average of about 70 attacks and less than 6 fatalities per year. A number that is ridiculously low compared to how many times we get in the water where there are potentially lethal sharks. If you're afraid of sharks or not, that's totally up to you. All I want to say is don't believe everything you see on TV. And the last thing I want to bring up is the one that I hate bringing up. A large number of shark species are today facing the risk of extinction. It has been estimated that we are killing about 100 million sharks every year. And one major reason is the shark fin soup market. And because of their low reproductive output, it takes a long time for these populations to recover. One of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling is to check out the local food markets. But every time I see this in the fish market, I always walk away with a lump in my throat. The fact that a huge percentage of sharks are killed for their fins in order to make what has been described as a tasteless soup is something that I've always had a hard time understanding. If there was only one thing I could ask anyone to give up in order to help the shark situation, it would be the shark fin soup. This small sacrifice could help a lot of animals. These are fascinating animals that also play a hugely important role in the ocean. So let's all do what we can to help protect them. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video that Jonas did. We go back and forth on these videos, of course. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know that we have more shark videos. So if you're interested in some of the things that we do, check out all of these. We have six skill sharks from a deep sea submarine at 2,000 feet. We had a couple videos with my friend Nick Whitney where we're looking at advanced shark research. We're going to the Amazon in a couple weeks, so stay tuned for a video on that. And we're going to Sweden right after that. More videos from us coming up. We'll see you soon.